One of the things we like to do as wrestling fans is we always like to speculate who's a possible future Hall of Famer. Who's that first ballot Hall of Famer who is no doubt a future bound Hall of Fame talent. We always like to speculate that. And one of the names that seems to come up quite a bit, whether you love him or you hate him, I think everybody can agree that Chris Jericho has absolutely had a first ballot Hall of Fame career. And of course, now with everybody going back to WWE from AEW, Chris Jericho seems to be maybe that next guy, right? Not that there's any news or any stirring, but, you know, the conversations happened. What happens? Would see, would Chris Jericho ever go back? You know, he's got to be itching for that one more run. I've seen the memes, right? Or at least that Hall of Fame run, right? And though Chris Jericho, the ultimate worker, can never just take what he says you know, to heart, you always got to take it with a grain of salt. Chris Jericho seemed to be pretty clear about the whole WWE Hall of Fame thing. And if he has any eyes on going back for that anytime soon or in the future, or the whole thing about it, he was asked on the Chris Van Vliet Insight podcast. And here's what Jericho had to say. Check out this clip. You're, you're absolutely 1000% a Hall of Famer. But do you think you'll be inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame? I was like going against the grain. Like I loved it when Axl Rose didn't show up to the Hall of Fame and sent a note saying, not only am I not showing up, you're not allowed to say my name. <laughs> I love that shit. Like that's fucking rock and roll, man. So I don't really understand the point of a Hall of Fame. Like if you think I'm in it, that's great. There's, of course there's, you're in it. There's no real Hall of Fame. It's all kind of in WWE's mind in their chambers of the mind, you know? And, you know, I mean, it's, 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 does it really matter if I'm in it or not? Like I, you know, go up there and give some approved speech where you have five minutes to fucking encapsulate 33 years. It's like, you know, cause I was at the hall of fames when you had like hillbilly Jim talking for 45 <laughs> minutes. You're like, fucking hell dude, you're on Sunday night's main event once. You don't have a lot to say enough <laughs> and, and nothing against Billy Jim. He's, yeah. he's a cool guy and he deserves to be in the hall of fame. I remember when they but, wrapped up Mr. T in the same way. I mean, dude, they had the blackjack Lanza, you know, and then you get the freaking undertaker and he gets 15 minutes. Like it's, I, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I'm not interested in that at this point. And, and, and like I said, it's not a disrespectful thing. It's just like, I don't really see the, the benefits of it. And I kind of like doing opposite things. I have no doubt in my mind that Chris Jericho will someday go back for the Hall of Fame. I think he's, I don't know if full of shit is the right answer, but I think he's working a little bit. I'm sure it means something to him. Now, if anybody ever was going to do the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Axl Rose gimmick or something like that, if somebody was ever going to make a spectacle or a show of themselves over the Hall of Fame, in some regard to that effect of no showing or declining or whatever, it would probably be Chris Jericho. You know, you just, just heard him say it. He likes that kind of stuff. But I think ultimately he's also got a huge ego, and I think he wants to have that glory. You know, he wants to sit up there. But he had a lot of good points. You know, what am I going to sit up there? Stuff I'd never even thought about, you know, because I always look at it from the glory perspective, right? And everybody wants that cap on their career, that acknowledgement, that recognition. I am a Hall of Famer. At the same time, it is the WWE Hall of Fame. Right? The WWE Hall of Fame is a little bit of a gimmick. Coco Beware is in there. No offense to Coco. Drew fucking Carey's in there. Celebrity wing, I get it, but you get the point. It's a bit of a gimmick. On the other hand, what are you going to call Cauliflower Apple, Cauliflower Alley Club or the Observer Hall of Fame? I'm sure, you know, that's a good pat on the back, but it's not like, you know, they take place in some little fucking banquet hall in a fucking hotel or something you know what i mean there's like there's no it's not grandiose it's an honor it's a plaque it's something to add to your resume but it's not like holy crap this is an amazing cap to my a glorious cap to my career you know that's what the wwe hall of fame is but at the end of the day it's a spectacle and it's you know 
it, it is half bullshit and half a work. And the other things I didn't think of is that Jericho brought up the speech. What am I going to go get all fucking gussied up and make a big, you know, leave AEW or whatever, work all that out and go back just to do a five minute speech on his entire fucking career. And eh, I don't know. He will. Obviously he will. That's not what I don't know about, but I get what Jericho's talking about. I get his perspective. And if anybody pisses on the hall of fame, it will be Jericho, but I don't think he will. They'll all, they all go back as far as if he's going to leave AEW. I don't know. He sounds pretty loyal to AEW. Actually, uh, he even made uh, you know comments as much uh, on his show that he doesn't talk crap about Tony Khan or doesn't disrespect Tony Khan. Check out this clip. Tony's my boss. I have never once disrespected him, not done what he's asked of me, talked back to him, caused any problems whatsoever because he's my fucking boss. Mm. And, you know, if we're on set for a movie... And, you know, freaking Steven Spielberg goes, hey, Chris, I want you to, you know, take this soda can and pour it over your head. And I go, that's fucking stupid. He's like, okay, well, then they'll hire some other dude to come in and pour the soda can over his head. It's like, this is show business. And we play a role and a part in, 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 a, in a show. And it doesn't matter if you like it or not. You have to make it work and you have to make it good. It's what Pat Patterson taught me. He used to say about Vince that... Um, you know, some days he likes chocolate, some days he likes strawberry, but it's his fucking ice cream shop. You gotta make the ice cream. You do what he wants you to do. You don't like the chocolate, who gives a fuck? You make the ice cream. And he made a point to say that because so many people are disrespecting Tony Khan nowadays. You know, Jericho's setting himself up to be a model employee, but Jericho, Jericho's a worker and he's a psychologist. Jericho's. Playing the long game. He sees dollar signs in Tony Khan. Tony Khan's a billionaire. He said it in this interview. I'm a billionaire whisperer. I know how to talk to these people. And he knows that Tony Khan as a billionaire he can hitch his wagon to. He's not going to be able to hitch his wagon to Vince. Vince is over Jericho. Jericho's past his prime. He's not the head product there anymore. And also, Vince is not even in the picture anymore. What's he going to do? Hitch his wagon to Triple H? The WWE? No, he's going to ride Tony Khan. He's going to be Tony Khan's right-hand man, his go-to, his confidant, le confidant, if you will. And that's not to say Jericho's a scumbag or he's working him or being shady. It's just it's a career move, honestly. It's like saying, why am I going to go work for other company because they're going to pay me more or they have a nicer facility when I can work at this company and this boss is going to let me take time off whenever I want to and go see my kids and bring my kids to work. And he lets me contribute ideas. Hey, boss, what if we try this and that? You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's a career choice based on his ability to work the system. Um, he'll be back. But, you know, it'll probably you know, if I think he's more of an AEW lifer than I think people expect him to be. I could be completely wrong, but it sounds like that's the plan. Uh, I think Jericho, well past his prime, is more useful and more apt to be able to take advantage of Tony Khan as opposed to the WWE. Uh, but that's not to say that he won't be able to get the opportunity to go back like he did for Steve Austin's uh, podcast or when Ric Flair was traded for Christian to do the WWE Hall of Fame when he was in TNA. I don't think there's any issues or any reason why Chris Jericho couldn't do a one-night Hall of Fame gimmick if that's something that they wanted to do. But he probably wouldn't be the headliner because they wouldn't really be able to promote it a lot or have him on WrestleMania per se. Um, but, you know. I think Jericho is a, absolutely a first ballot Hall of Famer. I think it's pretty much inarguable. If he's not a Hall of Famer, what the fuck is a Hall of Famer, honestly? But uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of Chris's comments, both on the WWE Hall of Fame and working with Tony Khan, for Tony Khan? you think Jericho's a worker? Do you think he's full of shit? Do you think he's being honest? Do you think that this is kind of the career path going forward for Jericho? Or do you think it's all a bunch of BS, brother, brother? 
Um, everybody goes back to WWE eventually. Do they not? Will Jericho? Perhaps. Who knows? Time will tell. But for now, just let me know your thoughts in those comments below. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. Let me tell you something, brother. You can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on this channel, dude. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to take your vitamins and say your prayers, brother.